Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer on the Saturday, December 5th. Let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the 21st chapter. Thus says the Lord to me, Go station a watchman. Let him tell what he sees. If he sees a chariot, a pair of horses, someone riding an ass, someone riding a camel, then let him pay heed, very close heed. Then the watchman cried, On the watchtower, O my Lord, I stand constantly by day. And I stay at my post through the watches of the night. Here he comes now, a single chariot, a pair of horses. He calls out and says, Fallen, fallen is Babylon, and all the images of her gods are smashed to the ground. All my people who have been thrashed, beaten on my threshing floor. What I have heard from the Lord of hosts, of God of Israel, I have announced to you. Oracle on Adam, they call to me from Seir. Watchmen, how long have... Sorry. How much longer the night? Watchman, how much longer the night? The watchman replies, Morning has come, and again, night. If you will ask, ask, come back again. Many nations will come and say, Let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the home of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his pathways, and we will walk in his paths. And a reading from a treatise on the value of patience by St. Cyprian, bishop and martyr. Patience is a precept for salvation given us by our Lord, our teacher. Whoever endures to the end will be saved. And again, if you preserve in my word, you will truly be my disciples. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Dear brethren, we must endure and preserve... Persevere if we are to attain the truth and freedom we have been allowed to hope for. Faith and hope are the very meaning of our being Christians. But if faith and hope are to bear their fruit, patience is necessary. We do not seek glory now in the present, but we look for future glory. As St. Paul instructs us when he says, By hope we were saved. Now hope which is seen is not hope. How can a man hope for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it in patience. Patient waiting is necessary if we are to be perfected in what we have begun to be, and if we are to receive from God what we hope for and believe. In another place, the same apostle instructs and teaches the just, and those active in good works, and those who store up for themselves treasures in heaven, through the reward God... <coughs> gives them. They are to be patient also, for he says, Therefore, while we have time, let us do good to all, but especially to those who are the, the household of the faith. But let us not grow weary in doing good, for we shall reap our reward in due season. Paul warns us not to grow weary in good works through impatience, not to be distracted or overcome by temptations and so give up in the midst of our pilgrimage of praise and glory and allow our past good deeds to account for nothing because what has was begun sorry what was begun falls short of com completion finally the apostle speaking of charity unites it with endurance and patience charity he says is always patient and kind it is not jealous it is not boastful is not given to anger, does not think evil, loves all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. 
He shows that charity can be steadfast and persevering, because it has learned how to endure all things. In another place he says, Bear with one another lovingly, striving to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. He shows that neither unity nor peace can be maintained unless the brethren cherish each other with mutual forbearance and persevere the bond of harmony by means of patience. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to prepare the way of your only begun Son, so that by his coming we may be enabled to serve you with pure minds. He who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I would like to invite you all again to uh, share some other traditions that you may have or might have had when you were younger for um, Advent. So if you did any fasting, if you had a nativity, if you uh, like decorations that you would do, Advent calendars, Advent wreaths, and anything else that you would do and anything unique. And also with uh, December 6th being Sunday, tomorrow we also invite you to share anything that you might have done on saint nicholas day if you participated in any traditions or any uh events that you did on saint nicholas day so we invite you to uh comment in the comments below again on what you might have either done on advent or what you might have done on saint nicholas day let us continue now with a blessing Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.